There are two main windows in Pro Tools, the edit window and the mix window. So here is the edit window, and then I can switch to the mix window using this key command, command equals. And the mix window can be of various shapes and sizes. It can be tall, it can be wide. Typically, we want to maximize the space here so that we can see all that there is in the mix window. But command equals will move me between those two windows all day long. Now in the window menu under arrange, I can tile them horizontally so that one is on top of the other. Generally, we want the mix on the bottom. I think if you have a really big monitor, you might like to do this. You can also arrange and tile them vertically so that the edit window is over here and the mix window is over there. In my studio, I have two cinema displays side by side, and I like the edit window on one and the mix window on the other. But when I'm not in that studio, then I tend to grab the edit window and make him the right length. Maximize this guy, bring him up just a little bit. Then I just use the hotkey to switch between them. When you come up with a layout that you like, you can go to Window and Configurations, New Configuration. All right, Pro Tools has other windows. Let's pull up the Transport and see what it does. As advertised, it has controls here for moving the playhead in Pro Tools. So I can use the spacebar or I can hit play. Right now I'm in loop playback. I got there by going options and loop playback. So if your playhead doesn't have the little circle on it, that's why. Now I have a regular playhead and I can jump back to the beginning and play this file. Now the thing about the transport and the big counter are that they are floater windows. In other words, if I go to the mix window, they're still floating to the top all the time. Let's jump back to the edit and I'll close these two windows and we'll look at some zoom options. So the zoom tool has normal zoom and single zoom. Let me switch to normal zoom and I have the smart tool selected now. And let's say that I select the zoom tool and I zoom into what I want to see and I'm still zoomed in with the zoom tool selected. Now I have the smart tool selected. I'm going to switch to the single zoom. Let me jump back out here, and I zoom into what I want to see, but I, now I have the Smart tool selected. So that's what the Single Zoom does for you. It lets you zoom in for the purpose of editing. And you can change the Zoom tools by tapping the F5 key. You switch between the two. I like the Single Zoom and then the Smart tool selected. I think the coolest Zoom tool isn't even on here. In Final Cut and some other programs, there's an Auto Zoom feature that zooms the timeline to the length of the longest clip. And this is like that. So hold down the shift key and then double click on the zoom tool, either one of the zoom tools, and it will auto fit the file you're using to the size of your workspace. Let's talk about playback cursor and scrolling. Pro Tools has a playback cursor and an edit cursor. And most of the time you're going to want those linked. And you can do that in options, link, timeline, and edit selection. If you want to edit one place and play from another, you would unlink them. But honestly, I think you'll have them linked most of the time. An exception might be where you want to reference the first chorus while you're editing the second chorus, something like that. But most of the time, these are selected. Okay, just above that are some scrolling options. There's no scrolling and page scrolling after playback and continuous. So let's look at these options. Page scrolling is typically what you're going to have because, let me zoom in just a little bit so we actually have more pages than one. I need to turn this down. Let me reach down here, and we just need to hear a little bit of it. And we expect that when it gets to the end of this page, it's going to refresh, and it does. That's what page scrolling is all about. No scrolling would be if it's back here. Let me give it more than one page. As advertised, it's not scrolling at all. We're now hearing things we're not seeing. I'm not sure when you want to use that in Pro Tools. Not often. Usually you want to see it and hear it at the same time. After playback is another option. When would you use that? Maybe so it plays whatever you want and then scrolls to where you stop. 
which might be the case if you're playing with your eyes closed and you're listening to the mix and then you want to park where you stop. And then continuous is maybe the weirdest one here. Let's take a look at that. We just scroll. Eh, it may be handy once in a while. It's very tough when you're going very fast. You know, when you're zoomed in and things are moving by very fast. If you're zoomed in too tight, it kind of makes you seasick. But if you like it, that's where it is. Options, edit window scrolling. I'm going to go back to page. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Hold down shift and double click on the zoom tool. And now my session is the way I want to see it. And next we'll look at some options for sorting our clips.